Shalom, all praise is due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak Wadash, double honors to the elect apostle elders that great most on that rule well. Shalom to the elect Aki out there doing this work into severity and truth and out for vain glory in season out of season. And to all the elect, men, women, and sons and daughters. All right, uh, just want to bring out the scripture. Um, Matthew's the twelfth chapter, and uh, we can go to the forty-eighth verse. Okay, forty-eighth verse says, uh, "Let's go to uh, let's start at the forty-seventh verse." Then one said unto him, "Behold, thy mother." And thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered, okay, of course, which is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. But he answered and said unto him that told him, Who is my mother? And who is my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. So everybody in your family is not um your uh, mother or brother in a spiritual aspect. Physically, of course, you know, you know, you have your father put seed in your mother, and then you grew in your mother's womb, and um, you know, and then you and then you were born out of your mother's womb all right okay um let me see yeah i just wanted to bring this uh quick point out too um you have women here in america you know in europe you know um, maybe some other parts of the world but uh, who believe that, uh, well, especially here in America, that um, mama's baby, father maybe, well, that's because these women are what? They're committing adultery. Okay. All right. So a lot of times uh, they don't know who the mother is. I mean, a lot of times they don't know who the father is. You know, and then you have a thing where... It, um, they're saying that they want to bring mandatory um, testing to see if that's the father of the uh, baby. OK. But they believe that uh, women, especially here in America, believe that uh, you come from your mother and uh, you're a product of your mother. Which you're not a product of your mother, you're a product of your father. OK. So let's just go to it. Uh, this is the first Corinthians, the 11th chapter. And uh, we can start at the, um, you know, the Apostle Paul went into this. OK. In the eighth verse, it says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. You see, you know, so you don't come from your mother. You come from your father. All right. Your father puts his seed, his sperm. That's why it tells you, man. You know, he is of the seed of David. All right. What is that? Romans. Uh, what is that? What's that? Romans. What is that? One and three, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it three? Yep. Romans one and three. It says, concerning the son of Yahweh Shai, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. Okay, so he was made of the seed. And when you look that up in the Greek, uh, it's sperma. So a man's sperm. Okay. All right. According to the flesh, you know, because you got people talking about that, you know, the Lord Yahweh Shai is is a spirit. He's 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 not a real person. He's he's just a spirit. No, no. According to the flesh. Okay. 
All right. right. So I just wanted to bring that out. Uh, let's go back to 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter and 8th verse. Okay. Okay. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So, you know, there you go. The woman was created for the man. Her whole existence in the world, in the earth, is for her man. Okay? All right? And uh, that doesn't mean that, you know, you... You, you go home and you knock your woman upside the head and shut up, winch. Cook me some fucking dinner and you kick on her ass. No, because see, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the, um, bull, bullshit that Esau said that. Esau pushed that image of a man being over a woman as something, um, uh, violent, you know, which that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? You know, we love our wives, man. You know, it's just that we have a place and she has a place and a place is to be ruled over by her man. OK, she was created for the man, not the man for the woman. You know, and the Apostle Paul brought that out. OK, and that's why a lot of people don't like the Apostle Paul. But that's that's not the only reason. It's a whole lot of reasons. But that's one of the reasons, you know. Okay. It says, um, for this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in Yahweh Jai. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of Yahweh. Okay. You know, so, you know, this whole notion of, um, you know, uh, it's my baby and you just ex out the man like, <laughs> what the hell with you? You know, you know, I don't, I don't need you. Oh, well, yes, you do, because you would not be in existence if it wasn't for your uh, earth earthly father putting seed in your mother okay and then his sperm in your mother and then the sperm grows until a baby's nurtured in the mother's womb and you come through the mother's womb okay so you know i just wanted to clear that up you know all right and an israelite man can have any woman of any heathen nation woman and it's still going to be an israelite OK, it's still going to be a so-called black and Latino and Native American man, West Indian, Haitian and Native American and Latino man. If a woman has a seed by a so-called white man or a Chinese man or African man or East Indian man, or Arab man, that's going to be the heathen nations. OK, it's not going to be an Israelite, you know. So without the man, you wouldn't be here, so-called black woman, Latino and Native American woman. Especially you so-called black woman, because you talk the most crap. But anyway, let's get back to it. All right. Let's go back to Matthew's 12th chapter. All right. I just want to bring that point out. But that's due to the curses, you know. That's the curses on the so-called black, Latino, and Native American man. All right. Matthew's 12 and 48. Right. It says, but he answered and said unto him that told him, who is my mother and who is my brother? And he stretched forth his hand toward the disciples and said, behold, my mother and my brother. That's the point I wanted to get to. It says. For whosoever shall do the will of my father, Yahweh, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. You know, and uh, that's the point that I wanted to get to because, uh, you know, 
people believe that they can just say Jesus Christ and um and go to church and dance and jump up and down and you know and and catch the holy demons on them you know and speak the uh Hamasham and Alaba and Franks and the Beans, you know, that they're, they're, that they're the, uh, that they're a part of Yahweh Shai, okay? No, that's not the case, man. Okay? Let's go to it. Let's go to it. See, there's more than just going to church and bow down the, to the picture of, uh, uh, the white so called Jesus Christ dude, dude, which is Caesar Bojess, by the way. Which is an actual person, okay? That um, they put it, they put his image up as being, you know, the Lord, okay. Which even goes further back, goes to Serapis Christus, okay, in Alexandria, Egypt. All right. Uh, let's go to um. John the seven seven chapter. You know, see, because people don't want to believe on what the scriptures say, you know. All right, so let's go to John, the seventh chapter and the 38th verse. All right. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly, which is his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. You know, so we have to believe on what the scriptures say. Now, what do the scriptures say? That the Lord is um, a so-called white man with um, blonde hair and blue eyes? That he's a so-called white man? No, that's not what the scriptures say. Okay. Let's go to it. Right quick. Right. Um, what is What is it? What's the book of Daniels? Right. So let's start at the fifth verse. All right. Daniel's the uh, tenth chapter. Start at the fifth verse. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of Upas. So he had a golden belt around his uh stomach. It says. His body also was like the burrow, which is green. He had like a green garment on. And his face as the appearance of lightning. Uh, wisdom maker for man's face to shine. Okay. And his eyes as lamps of fire. Goes back to whites of his eyes were red. And his arms and his feet like in color to polish brass. So brass is a derivative of brown and he was so he was so dark it looked like he was burnt in a furnace okay that's how dark he was that's how dark brown he was and the voice of his words as the voice of a multitude you know he spoke with power and he spoke with authority okay he didn't sound like uh where they show um the so-called white Jesus Christ Sounding like a uh, like a transsexual, all right. I'll just say it like that, you know, all soft and you know. It's not how Yahweh Shai spoke, okay. All right. His voice was. It says, and the voice of his words, like the voice of the multitude. I mean, it was like, it was like when you hear a lot of people speak. You know how loud it is. You know, you know how powerful it is, you know. All right. So it says. Um, it says. And his arms and his feet like color to polished brass. So he was a so-called black man. All right. And he was super dark brown. All right. OK, so that's what the scriptures say, you know. Okay, let's see what else the scriptures say. See, if you want to be, you know, a follower, a brother, sister, to a mother, to Yahweh Shai in a spiritual sense, 
you know, th these are things you have to do, you know. Let's see what else the scriptures say. All right. He that believeth upon me, as the scriptures have said. Uh, let's go to Exorcist. And there's many, many m more things. I'm just, I'm just bringing out, you know what I'm saying, just a couple of things. All right. Uh, this is Exodus, uh, Exodus, the 20th chapter and the third verse. Okay. All right. Twentieth chapter and the third verse. All right. It says, "Well, let's start at let's start at the first verse, okay?" And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, "I am Yahweh, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. This is ancient Egypt, out of the house of bondage, because we were slaves in America. Uh, we were slaves in Egypt, the twelve tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right." It says, that's why the scripture say, um, let, see, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I think it's Jeremiah 50 and 33. I'm not mistaken. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33. All right. Yeah, you know, because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're separated, you're divided, you know, but that's the curses that Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai put upon us as the 12 tribes of Israel, as a nation of people. It says, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel, Northern Kingdom, Latinos and Native Americans, and the children of Judah, Southern Kingdom, so-called Negroes, West Indian Haitians, were oppressed together. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we were oppressed together as a nation, and in ancient Egypt and in other um, um, uh, kingdoms under the heathens, and here in America. Okay, now there was a time where Israel, the Northern Kingdom, you know went their way and came over here to this side of the world, uh, the Americas, North, South, and Central America, and uh, uh, so-called the, the, the Southern Kingdom, so-called Negroes, West Indian Haitians over, over in uh, Judea, you know, un, under the Romans. But look at us now. We all here, all the 12 tribes are here, okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans are right here in America being oppressed together, just like in ancient Egypt, okay? All right? It says, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Yeah, just like here in Egypt, Pharaoh didn't want to let Israel go. You know, he didn't want so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans to be free. But Yahweh forced his hand through his son, Yahweh Shai, through the prophet Moses and Aaron, you know. You know, so um, just like here in America, which is the spiritual Egypt, by the way. All right. And uh, hey, man, they don't want to let us go. Yahweh Shai is going to have, Yahweh is going to send his son, Yahweh Shai, to let to, to, to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, all the 12 tribes, all right? Not just the so-called tribe of Judah, not just Judah, all the tribes, man, all the 12 tribes, okay? All right? Okay, so let's go back to uh, Exodus, the 20th chapter, all right? You know, I'm kind of all over the place a little bit, but, you know, I just want to bring that out. Exodus, the 20th chapter. And uh, third verse. Yeah, so let's see what else is in the Law of Sessions and Commandments. 
thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any image, any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth, man, because that's what the heathen nations did, man. They made uh, idols out of out of every goddamn thing, man. You know, he had Dagog, I believe, which is the uh, the Canaanite deity, the, the fish, the fish head. You know, I mean, uh, it, you know, I mean, you get idols of different gods and goddesses and, you know, and that's what our people is doing, man. That, that's what two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans are doing. You know, you are. You you have other gods before Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. What's one of the main gods you, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have? Now you have various gods and 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 goddesses, which are nothing but idols. You know, of stone, wood, gold, and silver, right? That you praise. But what's one of the main gods you have? Caesar, goddamn Bojes, the so called white man Jesus Christ, and that's all the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. You know, so if you want to be a, a spiritual brother of yeah, or spiritual sister, a spiritual mother to Yahweh Shai, these are the things that you're gonna have to give up. You know? Well, we know two thirds of you are not gonna do that. All right. Okay, uh let's go to first uh, Kings the twenty first chapter and the twenty sixth verse. All right. Let's go to it. And there's more scriptures, much more scriptures. Uh, the scriptures say uh, these things saying the law, serve Yahweh with all our heart and all our might. All right. And love thy brother as thyself. You know, okay. You know, uh, what is it? Twenty one or twenty six? Did I do that? Twenty one and twenty six. Now, this is King of Israel, Ahab. Ahab, okay, it says, but there was none like unto Ahab, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of Yahweh from Jezebel, his wife stirred, stirred up. And read that again, but there was none like unto Ahab, which did sell himself to work wickedness in the sight of Yahweh, whom Jezebel, his wife stirred up. It says, and he did very abominably in following idols. You see, that's, you see, that's the main thing with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You love them goddamn idols, man. Okay? Other than serving Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the living power. All right? According to all things as did the Amorites whom Yahweh cast out before the children of Israel and it came to pass when they had heard those words that he rent his cloths and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went softly and the word of Yahweh came to Elijah the Tishbite saying seest thou how Ahab humbleth himself before me because he humbleth himself before me. I will not bring the evil in his day, but in his son's days will I bring the evil upon his house. So see, hey man, so you got to give up all this bullshit, man. Give up the goddamn polk and shrimp, crab and lobster. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Americans, man, you ain't willing to do that. You know, so that's why you're not a spiritual follower or sheep or brother or mother or sister to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. 
you know, but you got to give up all this wickedness, man. You got to give up them damn idols, give up so-called white man, Jesus Christ, you know, but two thirds are not, are not going to do it, you know, and it's, and it just goes even further, you know, it even goes further more, man. You know, you go in the Old Testament, you go in the New Testament, it goes into it more, you know. But anyway, hope you've been edified with that. Shalom.